Hello and welcome to this uh, part 2 of the series of advanced use of the Visual Studio T4 uh, especially focusing on the features that the ADM methodology requires. I'll demonstrate the IntelliSense for the uh, XML based schema content uh, on T4 generation and uh, especially focusing on the immediate change that we can reflect on the IntelliSense once we change the schema model. And this is mainly the procedure what that uh, uh, the ADM is relying on keep your model and generators constantly up to date with each other. So basically because the T4 generators are statically typed and strong, strongly type bound you spot the errors as with statically typed languages sooner than too late. So <clears throat> let's start here. Uh, as the previous demonstration showed that we have a uh, very simple comparer generator generating. We have little wrapping up to make some type, some named comparer with some data type. And on the intelligence side of the T4, because we have a full XML serialization class on the behind, we get actually full strongly typed intelligence defining on what we have on the model. Now let's change the model a bit to include a feature that we can use uh, our comparer to use a thing such as our default comparer. This is a generic type that's supposed to be default on certain comparison and we want to be able to use the com this one uh, in addition to having to manually write the implementation or call this one. So we start the procedure of opening our abstraction model and then we open the area that we want to make the change for. We are going to make the change at the comparer type so we took the definition, go to definition on one of its attributes and we are going to add a child attribute here. Use default comparer let's name it custom default comparer or better at uh, our default comparer there then we set it as type of boolean I use this kind of notation uh, showing in the intelligence side of the XML that this is an optional parameter because the intelligence doesn't make it any any uh, different looking than the not optional ones. If given generator will hook up the call to the default comparer and then we set it value, default value as false. So this is an optional definition within our current model. Then we go the, here, say to our comparer that we want to actually use it here. Of course if we don't make any change here, nothing changes because it's uh, it was defaulted to false. Or nothing changes in this side. Then we go to the uh, template side. Oh, run the custom tool on top of the XSD to update the include files, and we immediately have here IntelliSense reflected to our default comparer change. Now, if we save the file, nothing changes because we don't have anything that reflects this change. So I'll go to my paste bin. And grab this conditional generation based on the default flag. I'll replace the current manual implementation with simply few uh, control flow if and else brackets. It's identical to what we had before nothing changes here. Removing this one entirely. Now running the generators 
will reflect the change that it's actually creating a code with that using default block and because it's incomplete if we try to build right now we get an error that not all code parts return a value so let's make the implementation here and notice that we are actually changing the generator responsible file so we ought to not leave our implementation here but we first start at here because we get full intelligence here. So we want to use my default comparer that was the generic class of type string in this case and we want to compare the x and y with it. Then of course because we need to return something we also modify the code like this. We ensure that everything builds just fine. This is just the standard manual implementation. Then we copy paste this one here to the actual template here and of course because there were some type specific features we also modify it so that it reflects the given type properly then we also change while we are at it we notice that we have named parameter usage on the other calls so we want to don't want to be any less controlling here we paste the implementation on that side as well save the file check out the implementation and now the generator is actually generating us that stuff build the project everything builds fine so all in all this is how easy it is to modify your model and reflect your uh, generators that are right beside on the model within the same directory structure. This is really important uh, part of the design because in a source control or version control wise all you are actually doing modifications at uh, is within uh, one single small folder. So all the branching, uh, all the forking in a git side or all the merges and such stuff are separated with it. In this implementation we use local content, so actually there is an option already within our existing demonstrations where we can toggle uh, share level as something more like shared. And then this is uh, not anymore reading it from the local content. Okay, sorry for that small clip in the video. Uh, we are likely producing more videos on the um, modular use of abstraction where we use preprocessed templates in a makefile kind of way of uh, their generation. But everything you've seen so far is the core of how ADM reflects the model changes immediately and keeps them within single version control sync. Thanks for watching.